Hi everyone, this is Total War Therapy and uh, I don't know how I came up with this uh, idea but uh, since on YouTube people are generating everything with uh, AI I thought why don't, why don't do the same but with the uh, legendary lords of Total War Warhammer so I just found an application to generate uh, things, uh, I mean generate AI picture uh, with description, text description and uh, I I kind of described these legendary lords, I didn't want to use the exact uh, things uh, written like in the wiki and so on for one reason, because AI normally uh, took in, think it takes information from internet so if uh, I, uh, I say for example the bloody queen, uh, I mean the gore queen like uh, Valkyrie, uh, AI will go to check what, uh, what gore queen on internet it will find Valkyrie and I will just get Valkyrie. So I had to just uh, do a description, a generic description of that legendary lord and uh, see what happened. I prepared two videos like that so there will be this one and another one just to check if uh, it's something that you can enjoy and that you can like. So tell me in the comments if you want more videos like that and uh, if you want some particular legendary lords, something to change and you know, you get. Let's start. The first I wanted to do was uh, Scarbrand. So big humanoid red skin monsters. He wields two axes. He has two horns on the head and two wings and hooves on the feet. He is the herald of the god of blood and he's always angry. Photorealistic. Okay, as you know, as you see, it's a very generic description just to, to see what uh, would have happened. And the, the result was this that uh, I mean I'm quite impressive I, I like there are different models all with uh, kind of yeah the same um, uh, the same sense in this case I can tell you that it's quite accurate I mean it's kind of scar brand then uh, yeah could have had uh, um, a different I mean arm an armor or uh, yeah many details like uh, the eye the scatter eyes I mean there, there are a lot of details, of course, in the, um, in the Warhammer uh, description of Scarbrand, but, uh, I mean, quite accurate, quite scary is, uh, is Scarbrand at the end. I mean, it's a generic Scarbrand. Maybe we'll get a new Legendary Lord, we give an idea to, to Creative Assembly, and, uh, yeah, satisfied with, uh, with this. Let's move on. Big Humanoid Bird Monster. He wields a big, a big magic staff with an open book on its extreme. He has two bird heads with beaks. He, wear, he wears a light armor and he has two bird wings. He can see the past and the future. Okay, probably you guess who it is. Uh, at the beginning I wanted to put already the mage of the legendary lord, then I just thought, I mean, why? I mean, it's far more funny if you can guess uh, you too what kind of legendary lord I'm talking about. That in this case is, of course, Kairos Fate Weaver. And uh, yeah, I forgot to put photorealistic in this case. I'm just telling you everything that I, that I did. And this is the result that I can tell you that I'm quite satisfied. Of course, uh, AI still doesn't, uh, still, uh, doesn't uh, uh, I mean, take all the information in the right way. There is a lot of uh, interpretation, but uh, I like it. Honestly, some of these images are even probably cooler than uh, uh, Kairos itself. I mean, a armored, uh, two-headed bird humanoid uh, with, uh, yeah, reading a book. Uh, if you see the darkest, for the one, I mean, it, it's quite impressive. I mean, it's very scary. Keras, it's funny, it's very, very powerful, but uh, his image, his uh, aesthetic is not the scary. Here we have some scary monster. I would be scared to fight something like that. Okay, so this this is good. In this case, I think AI probably did uh, not, of course, a better, but a cooler job than, uh, uh, than uh, Warhammer. Egyptian mummy queen, she wears a gold and blue armor with an Egyptian royal crown. She wields a staff with the shape of a living snake. She's surrounded by snake. Photorealistic. Guess who are we talking about? We are talking about Kalida, the, the snake queen. I don't remember if it was the snake queen. Yeah, I wanted to add things like she hates vampires, but 
I just didn't want to fill uh, too much the AI because I mean they still don't get everything and the result is this. I got just one uh, result, not four or three like normally, but I can tell you that it's good. I mean it's good, even in this case probably is I, I prefer the aesthetics of this um, of this instead of the real Kalida. I mean she's more f feminine, we can say, more girly. Uh, and still, you know, very royal with this old golden blue uh, things that I, I like it a lot. And even all the snake, okay, they didn't uh, uh, make the stuff with the ship of a snake, but uh, with all the snakes going uh, around like a Medusa, uh, it's very cool. Oh my god, wow. I, I would have liked to have a model like that in the game. And uh, yes, very, very, I, I like it. I definitely like it. And uh, yes. Let's move on with uh, the Emperor of the Humans. He wears a heavy armor and a red clock. He wields a war hammer and his helmet has three feathers of different colors and he has a little statue photorealistic. I can tell you before showing you the, the result that this was probably my favorite model generated by a AI in these two videos and wow, just wow. Okay, are you ready? Let's go. My god. This is this is kind of space marine uh, with uh, with the hammer and the uh, wow. I mean, this is th this is scary. I mean, this is it doesn't have kind of human vibes because uh, yeah, probably he's a monster too, but wow. Yeah, it's definitely a space marine. It's too tough, too big, uh, but wow. I Still, wow, I mean, I don't know what, what to add more. I mean, if I think about fighting the cows with a character like that, wow. Yeah, less humans, probably more war machine, but yeah, it's like a big uh, gladiator, uh, wow, very Roman Empire-like, uh, yes, wow. And the hum, even the hammer, I mean, it's very, very scary. I mean, I would be scared if I was a demon of chaos, yes. Okay, let's move to the last character of this uh, of this video. Please remember to comment if you want to uh, see more content like that. Woman with the horse on the head and the red wings. She wears a red armor. She wields a shield with a tooth mount on it. She wields a spear. Photorealistic. You know what we are talking about, definitely. Valkia, the Gore Queen that I mentioned before in the video. And uh, yes, are you ready for the results? One, two, three. Yes. Even in this case, I got just one photo. I don't know why, just AI yeah, sometimes struggle to generate more. He's not that creative sometimes. And uh, I, I don't like that much this model, but uh, I mean, it's quite more feminine than Valkyrie. Uh, you have to be very careful with the AI because some, if you say something wrong, they can just uh, block you. And uh, yes, it quite it's, it's the same. Actually, it's it's kind of Valkyrie, uh, but more more angel and less devil. The shield with the titted mouth probably the, there was not an actual model on inter around the internet. That's why they probably struggled to find the right one. But if you think I didn't mention, it was the mouth of a demon, and they put a demon. So okay, I mean they probably probably copy something from Valkyrie. And uh, still the spears, it's a good spears, they are more... I, I like it, I kind of like it. Probably, yeah, they took something from Valkyrie. Okay, thank you for joining me with this video. Tell me if you can like this kind of content so we can uh, make more of that. And uh, see you soon.